What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to Desolate. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today. We are... Oh, Christ. Well, apparently they decided to respawn. I took like 10 minutes in between matches here. I'm gonna bust this dude up first. This dude thinks he's gonna get away with it, but he's wrong. He ain't getting away with nothing. This is my field. This is my campfire. I pee on it if I have to. I got a baseball bat. I'll be up in here. I'll be like, Ricky Henderson. Just ducking and juking and all over your field. You thought you ran stuff. You was wrong. We got a telescope. I wonder if I can make a sniper something out of that. I don't know. I'm gonna recycle that. I think I need a microscope for one of my quests. Yeah, so that didn't even go to our inventory. It went to the quest. So that's done. What we are actively trying to do right now is we have a quest to aid science. We have to go to Dome Radar Station. So we have to get domed right now. There is... An anomaly right there. I don't know what that creature is right there, but it's getting shot. I've made I've made up my mind. Ain't no way oh there's a cave over here. Who are you guys? What do you want to do? Bah! Bah! I feel like this is a marked misuse of my resources. But it's so much fun shooting people in this game. I don't know. I like the guns, they make me happy. I'm going to recycle that, we're going to take that, recycle that, use that for the liquids, recycle the Warhammer that he just dropped, even though I am tempted to be up in here like Sigmar, doing my thing. That was for a quest, I don't need the shovel. Polymer's nice, I'll drink the rum too. Our character is like quite the alcoholic, I'm surprised by how much liquor our character can consume and still be vaguely functional. I went to a Super Bowl party just a couple of days ago. And I learned the hard way that my liquor tolerance is not what it used to be ever since I got like uh, it's heavy. Oh, my legs are killing me already. These dudes trying to squat up right now? Oh, I think they are. Does he have a gun? He does have a gun. Uh oof. Who could take a shotgun blast to the chest and not even fall down? You don't wanna play that game with me? You don't wanna play that? Uh-huh. Oh, you running now. Yup. Run, 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 run. What you got for me? What do you have? You got a pipe. You got some pills. I'm going to take that razor, though. I'm going to get that right there, too. Ooh, that was a good box of scrap. That one had 50 in it instead of 25. Oh, uh, right. One of the things I like about this game is how, like, the loot still feels awesome, even once you're, like, pretty far into the game. Like, once you've moved in by, like, an hour and a half, you're still excited by, like, the looty stuff that you can get. It's still enjoyable. We're a little bit low on ammo, so I'm going to take that as a... I'm going to take that as a victory. Like, we rolled into here, we whooped on some kids, but for right now, I just... I'm going to get my saber out. For right now, we just don't have the ammo to sustain this battle that we've been running this whole time. And we got a lighter right there, we got an air filter. I don't think I need that. What's up with this dude? Oh, this dude's got a dope-ass hat. Well, I'm going to... Ooh! I'm going to keep him down. Yup, because I'm a hater like that. Just hate, 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 hating on this thug. Oh, you ain't gonna get away. You ain't gonna get away. You're gonna try. You're gonna try real, real hard. Oh, I'm sick of this. There we go. I just needed to get him with some. That dude was running everywhere. That dude was done like dinner was up. He thought he heard the dinner bell ringing. And I said, nom, 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 nom. Little did he know the bell tolled for thee. All right, so he's down. Uh, we're a little bit wounded because we got shot with a gun a bunch of times. I don't know what you know about firearms, but getting shot with them hurts. So how good is the knife? It's just really fast. You can just carve somebody up real fast. I feel like if I could mod the knife out, it'd probably turn out to be pretty well, but his damage is so low that I don't know if it's going to be dependable as we sit right now. There's a safe. How do I get into stuff, man? I need to figure out how to pick locks. That's like the second or third thing that we've come across. That was just like, nah, son, and it won't let us, like, loot it and get in there. I want it, though. I don't need that, but I will take the wires. They're worth money. And we got a metal box over here. Those are usually worth a decent amount. I'm sure I just need to level up. I'm gonna recycle that, because I don't need two knives. I got one knife. Who needs two knives? I'm not trying to do that roguey, like, dual-wielding stuff. A couple of wooden boxes over here that might have something good for us. I'm gonna unload... What is that? That's the egger. And so the egger... Did that give us pistol ammo? What did the egger give us? It gave us special ammo. It didn't give us shotgun shells. I think it gave us special ammo. I am actually going to take that, even though I probably shouldn't. And I'm going to swap out our shotgun with the egger. 
because we have bullets for it, and that's really the only thing that matters uh, with the egger. Let's take this thing out. Oh, it's a shotgun, too. Well, then, like, how did I... I guess the bullets must be in my other shotgun is my, my thought about that. Ain't nothing inside that loot crate. Man, that was the worst month ever from that service. What's inside this building right here? Can I go in there? I think that later on in development, these are all going to be like vaults or something that you can get into. And they're all going to have like specialized lore that like surrounds what happened in them or something like that. Because I've seen too many of them now. This is like the fourth one that I've come across and they all are locked. None of them are like done yet. And so let's get back on the road. It's time for us to run, run Rudolph back to where we came from. I'll get back at you if anything interesting happens. Just a little bit down the road, we have what looks like a settlement or something right here. I don't know if this is a good idea. It's got those, like, hallmarks of, like, a bandit camp, you know what I mean? We might be better served by going around, but the place looks pretty big. Our latest reports anticipate increased aggression from island fauna. We are working to resolve the problem. I don't know. Is there, like, a central authority for that? Is there, like, a parks and recreation department or, like, animal control out here? That seems like a weird statement to make in a place that's, like, post-apocalyptic busted up. I... What is this? I didn't know if maybe I could like turn something and like gas everybody in town. Yeah, these guys are hostile. I don't know what this dude's supposed to be. But he's dead now. Used to be alive. Ain't alive no more. He tried to hit me with a truncheon. I don't accept that as a possibility. Now that I've eliminated the door guard... Get the flashlight running so at least I can see. This game's always so dark. It's always difficult to see in this title. You have discovered Pit. Hmm. I'll be honest, I don't feel good about whatever this is. I've got rebar, a screwdriver. I don't know if I need another one, but I'm going to take the emulsifiers because those seem like they might be useful. I'm not going to take another one, though. There's no reason to have that much loot. What's down here in the basement? Well, they weren't kidding. This thing's going down for a minute. Oh. What's up down here? Ooh. Looks like we found ourselves a little scavenging area. Yeah, unlock that. Let's see what's going on with it. Nothing? Let's see what's going on in here. There's an orange. I can use fruit and chocolate to make a... Yeah, I'll take that. What is that, a baton? I will take the baton, actually, because I'm curious how much damage it's going to do. And I actually have, like, a weird obsession with extendo batons. Like, as far as weapons I like in video games, extending batons are pretty dope. It's just that snap sound they make when you whip them out. Where you're like, snicked! And you can fit one up inside your pocket, man. Those things are not... Ooh, dried fruit. Yes, please. I'll take that. Anything else that I can do over here? There's a lot of dead guys down here. That makes me feel a tiny bit jumpy, but... Do I even need a music box? If I don't need a music box, just go ahead and recycle it. I'm also going to use those real fast, because our hunger is a little bit low, and we could use a couple percent health. Med box! What do we got? We got antibiotics. We've got aspirin. I'm going to use the aspirin, because I think it might heal me. Yeah! Aspirin got me feeling good right now! Aspirin lets you get the jump on your HP. We've also got... Did I need another one of those? I don't know if I needed another transformer. What's that right there? Soy flour, and then we got barbed wire. I may be able to do something cool with my baseball bat. I mean, that's the standard go-to is that you got, like, the barbed wire baseball bat. You know what I mean? Buckwheat flour? Sure. Use that while we're here. I don't care about the mushroom. That's irrelevant. We've got a drill. We've got a couple of special ammo right there. I wonder if the special ammo is for, like, crossbows, or what that's useful for. Oof. Something bad happened over here. Something real bad. And did we loop the entire thing already? I think we must have. Maybe? It's coming up in a different spot. Oh, it did. It came up in a different spot. All right, well, I can tell you this. I don't really want to be in this place anymore. 
Like, if I can sneak past the majority of the attrition that we're going to go through in this location, just to get from point A to point B without any major issues requiring my hospitalization, I'm all right with that because we're surrounded. There's a lot of dudes around here, and if I can sneak my way through it, I think that just takes a little bit of the pressure. I heard something. Oh, Jesus. Neutralizing uh. threat. I mean, neutralizing shit. You think you, you think you're talking to? I'm a killer. Up in here with a sword, man. Who comes after you with a sword? I'll tell you who comes after you with a sword. Splatty do. That's who comes after you with a sword. Cause Splatty's a fan of that old rule of law. Splatty's up in here. There's someone here. I'll take you too. I don't care about you. You sound like Worf. Mm-hmm. You better back up off me, Worf. Yeah. Oh, he's still up. This guy. A little bit tougher than his compatriots. We've got a, another baton right there. Anything that gives me more money, I'm okay with. If I can kill a whole bunch of these cats, that sounds great. Stamina's looking good. We've managed to work our way around. I love the amount of ruins and, like, random places you can get into trouble in this game. Like, as you wander, I really get the feeling that there's lots of stuff that the player can get off guard with. Like, there's loads of things in this game that the player's like, I have an objective. I'm going to try and work on it. And then you don't actually work on it because you spend all of your time being like, ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this? And since, like, everything in this game can be reduced to a base resource, I think that helps the game out a lot. That's always a very smart design decision when developers do that. It makes looting fun, so if you don't find it fun to find the same items over and over and over again, you can find it fun to be rich as hell. And that's what we're doing right now. We're finding it fun to be rich as hell. I don't see anything lootable over here, but there is an herb. Oh yeah, I need to do something. Our thirst is not too bad, our hunger could be worse. Do I have any food left right now? What foods do I have? I got a simple dessert. All right, eat that. And the apple cocktail looks pretty good too, so we'll drink that. That's got both of our meters more or less up to maximum. What kind of dinners can I craft over here? I can make a veggie light snack. I can make a simple dessert. Make the simple desserts first. The simple desserts, I think, are going to serve us a lot better. They give plus 25, and so if we can just mash some things together. I would like to see some kind of crafting XP or something like that, too, that you get, and it expands the amount of recipes you get as you go along, because you do spend a lot of time crafting, and I will say one thing that's fun for the player, at least in my opinion, it's fun for me when this happens, is when you get that satisfying little, like, plus 15 or, like, plus 14 every single time you make something new. What are those? I don't know what those are. I'm going to get a gun out. Those are kind of like lumbering around. Oh, there's a different biome over here, like a burned out zone. Is this like a war zone, or what is this? It appears as though everything's been on fire over here. Is that dude going to come after me? What are you? Are you afraid of me, or are you okay with me? Looks like it's afraid of me, so I'm not going to spend too much time focusing on it. What weapons do I have right now? I got the knife. I don't want to use the knife. I'm going to use my saber on this dude. Someone there? <laughs> There we go. Give him a little bit of something. Teach him a lesson. Perfect. 4,000 more XP for the pile. There's another one over there. I have sunglasses. Kind of cool. We've got some kind of hook. 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 Give us the hook. 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 Give us the hook. Oh, I was going to say, did something just hit me? Like I kind of stumbled backwards or forward. Oh, he got me. Got a little bit of reach on that attack. Yay! New skill point. I would like to get into my skills, and we've got two skill points to play. Ow. Oh, Christ. There's a dorg. All right. Let me maybe see if I can get this little dude staggered up. He's going to attack. We'll go in and finish him off. And there's the leather we needed in order to craft more stuff. What was up with this guy's inventory? He's got a gas lamp. We got that. We got a stick. I don't really care about that. We'll grab whatever little stuff I can have, but I'm not really looking forward to walking back to town like a kilometer and a half just because we grabbed some, a wild eggplant. Is there a difference between an eggplant and an albergine? Like, is there a difference between those two, or are they the same damn thing? Because, like, some people are like, hmm, albergines are good. And then I'm like, that's like an eggplant, right? And then, like, I never know if it's like an eggplant. I don't want to fall too far. What the hell is that thing? That thing can get busted on if it thinks I'm going to play that game. I'm going to call it a sailback from now on. That thing is a sailback. That's what I'm calling it from now on. That thing's a sailback. I don't know what it is, 
But I'm calling it a sail bag. Oh boy. It's too heavy. What are you? I can't. I may break a my gorlan. Back. This way. Okay, well that gave us some food. I'm alright with that. I can actually dispense with this. And we can. That does 60 times 12, whereas my other shotgun does 58 times 8. This one is a lot worse than the other. And if I can shave off some weight right now, I think that's what I'm going to do. Other stuff I can potentially get rid of. Knives. Don't need those. That's a little bit of extra weight that we just don't need to carry. Scissors I don't think we need to carry. Antibiotics give us plus 25 to health. I'm going to use one right now because that's about what we're missing on our health. Am I going the right way right now? I'm about to cut across, like, the random boonie sticks in order to make this happen. Oh, you see that magazine right there? It's all, like, etched. It's got, like, filigree. Oh, that's sexy. I don't think I've ever seen a magazine with filigree all over it. That's pretty dope. That's, like, some shit you get from, like, a war trophy or whatever. Like, when you're, like, storming the trenches, find a whole bunch of shell casings in somebody's pocket with a whole bunch of, like, I don't know, art or whatever on them. That place looks dangerous, and I don't think I want to go in there. It seems like this guy wants to get some, though, so... Hey, man. As long as you know what you're signing up for. I'm not worried about it at all. Circle... Oh, he got me that way. He's gonna try and run. I think I'm gonna let him. Yeah, he's gonna get a little bit of damage off, but I can live with it. We've got a razor. We've got that. I don't know what that is. Canned beef. Go ahead and eat it. Use the pills. Axe. We do have some mods we can make to the axe. A golden cross chain. I'm pretty sure that's probably going to be worth some money right there. I think that's going to have some value to it. I don't know. What's the uh, market on gold chains when you're out in the middle of nowhere? Oh yeah, I know. Your back is breaking. You're having way too much trouble with the task that I put in front of you. And you don't like... I'll flash you with my flashlight right now. Come get some. I'll hit you with a flashlight right now. You don't even have a weapon, dude. This is a terrible plan. You know what happens when people with no weapons try to fight people with weapons? It almost never turns out well. Douche. Come get some, then. I didn't really want that scrap box. I actually wanted to recycle it. So if we could just recycle that right now, pretend like that never happened, all good. I'm still looking for guns and stuff like that. What's that, a madman's hand? Okay, at some point I'll get back to base and I'll get this stuff processed and sold off to the merchant. I don't know if he rotates his stock. I keep hoping he will so I can buy myself some bullets or some... I need bullets, dude. I want to run guns this entire game, but I don't know if that's exactly what this game is going for. I don't know if the game wants me to run guns the entire time. So here is the radar station. Get the gun out. That's a dorg. So that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a Wanaga inside one of the domes. I don't know what a Wanaga is, but it's got kind of like a Yeti type sound to it. Doesn't it kind of sound like it might be like a Wendigo or something? I don't know, man. This might end up a little sketchy. He's got like Psycho Man guards out front too. He's got like homies trying to back him up. I will use the apple juice and we will keep the cloth for later. Nah, I'm not dead. You're about to be, though. It's okay, though. Uh, I will eat the apple. I will drink that. I just don't want to carry stuff around with me right now. We're a little bit full up. I don't see anything on the platform up there, and I don't think I have anything that I can cook right now. Did you just try to get back up? You better stay down. All right, so we got a couple of domes over here. I don't know which one I want to hit first, but... Is there like a Wanaga in each side, in each one? Like a Wanaga? I don't even know what to call it. Was that morphine? No. I thought maybe we could get like some kind of injector or something like that. We got a baby duel. We got a little baby toy over here. It's a little dark and creepy, but I think I can live with it. Why is everything always wet inside these places? What do you need a sextant for? Is there, like, gas or something inside of there? I didn't see any, but... We've got a little O2 meter that I've never seen before that popped up. 
So it's... Oh, oh boy. It's pretty Thanks possible too, that maybe we just got gassed a little bit right there. Break my back. This way. Toolbox. Never know. Down this way, we've got ourselves. Dude, this place looks like it's made out of pillows right now. They made like a pillow fort, dude. Trust the Russians to go to the next level when you make pillow forts. Like, good for you guys, man. Good for you guys. When you build a when you build a pillow fort, you gotta let everybody else in, around you know that you're doing this the right way, okay? Like you don't half acidly build a pillow fort in Russia. No, you build that thing so that it's ready for the next nuclear winter. Because I'm assuming there's gonna be another one, considering this place looks a little nuclear wintered out right now. Oh, there's a little downstairs area too. <laughs> He's got a little bit more HP than some of the other ones that we fought, but we seem to be okay. What do you got going on for you? Just another bandana? Okay. What's up with this downstairs access, though? Uh, oof. Looks like we might need some kind of hazmat suit or something to go down there. There is an armor slot on our character. I don't know if that's been implemented yet at the current phase of the game. But it might be. I don't know. I ain't going down there. There's poison gas down there. What are you out of your mind? I ain't going in there. Please believe I ain't going in there. Just go in there and breathe up a whole bunch of beta radiation. Like, nah, son. Mm mm. Somebody got their brains exploded. All up there. Somebody caught him with an upward angle. Well, this place has anomalies. Wanna? Oh boy. Wanna go? What are you? Heavy. I can't. I may break my back. This way. I. Let's take this slow. How about that? Let's take this real slow. That's a stinger. So I think that gives. Pistol bullets? I don't know. Maybe. No, it didn't give us pistol bullets. It didn't give us shotgun bullets either. So, is it just for special ammo, then? See, I need to figure out how I swap ammo types. Normally, in most games, it's like B or something like that, but it doesn't seem to work in this one. I can't go up that way. Ah, oh, how did that count? I thought I went wide of that thing. Maybe I should have gone up and over the table over there. Old-ass telephone. We've got a... Ooh, that one's definitely shotgun shells, because I've had that gun. Use that. We've got a hook right there. I don't know if the hook's any good. It's a light weapon. And it does a lot of damage, though, so... My first inclination is that for 150 damage on a light weapon, that's pretty good. What the hell is this thing? That dude was trying to get to the fridge for one last cheeseburger before he went down. He was like, please, one more cheeseburger. That's all I want before I go, please. Now I can make it without cheeseburger. Cheeseburger! Then he died. The hell is that? Oh, a fan. I think I need that to repair something. Uh, dude, we're getting all kinds of rotten fruit, too. That's good, because I think for the rotten fruit, we needed it for something. Yeah, lock and load this thing. We don't know if we're going to need it. I don't see it. I think we've hit every little area so far. Maybe it lives underneath this place? Seems possible. Like the other one had like a little lower area where you could get in. Maybe this one does too. Is that a is that like a SAM site? What is that? If that's the if that's the Wanaga, nah man. Like, I, I don't mess with that. I'm, I'm not trying to play with that life. Well, it's not inside that one, so I'm starting to wonder if it's back inside the underground area on that other dome. Let's go look. Down into the dungeon we go. I don't want to be down here. I saw fart gas, and fart gas is never good for my health in video games. Fart gas is almost near universally a terrible play in games like this. I 
I think I just gotta move through the gassy areas quick. Hello? Any large Yeti-like creatures down here? Anybody? That came out right there. Damn, dude, we need like a respirator or something. This is not working. I'm losing health right now. I'm like being that guy. Like, all I really want to do is breathe, but the game's like, nah, man. Go through this game breathless. Enjoy yourself. And I'm like, but I don't want to suffocate. I don't hear anything, and I don't see anything. And that really is the part that concerns me here. The real lack of stimulus. Oh, there's a dead guy right there. Goody. That's a pretty sturdy light right there, man. If you can hang yourself from that lamp, it's a pretty sturdy lamp. That's a lamp that's not playing around. That's a lamp that knows what's up. Either way, though, I think we're just about out of time for this episode. I will see you all in the next episode where I'm pretty sure we've looked around just about everywhere in here. I'm going to try a different dome in the next episode, and maybe we'll find them in there. If nothing else, I'm going to try and... God, we got to take some pills or do something right now. We got, we got issues. We got, like, loads of issues. Yeah, use as many of those as you can. Just strap those to your face until you feel better. Just look like a mummy running around out here. It's our only chance. Probably check that dome next, maybe? Like this one? We've tried the one over there. We've tried this one. So, yeah, probably this dome next. This is Desolate. If you guys like the title... You should go check it out. They do a pretty good job with the atmosphere in this game and making it extra spooples on top of being a pretty fun little game. If you wanted to get it, I'll have a link for you down below. By the time this video goes live, the game should definitely be out at the link that I provide for you. And aside from that, I do, everybody. I'll see you next time.